So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, I'm gonna jump into three of my favorite iOS 18 updates that's currently available. So if you guys are in the market for a new iPhone or you just ordered the iPhone 16, stay tuned, watch this video, let me know what your thoughts are. And if I need to do a follow up video, drop that in the comments as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's kick it off with number three. So number three is gonna be the new control center. So on your iPhone or your iPad on iOS 18, all you need to do is swipe from the top, you'll see an all new control center. So icons look a lot different than they did in the previous version. You can see they have more colors, you have different pages. So this is my favorites up here. If I swipe up, this is my home. Swipe up again, this is my connections, and then I have a customizable area where I can add additional controls. So cool thing about this, guys, is that you do have some options to customize this area. So you can either do this by doing one of two things. You can either hit the plus icon on the top right, and now you can see you have different options there. Or if you just long press anywhere on the screen, you should see the same menu. So we're looking at different icons. You can see you can swipe to different pages, as you can see there. And all of these are customizable. So if you wanted to add a control, for instance, hit the plus button at the bottom. Let's say I wanted to add a scene accessory. I'll add that. And um, notice that some of the controls look different than others. So some will have this icon in the bottom right that means that this is customizable that means you, you can make it longer you can make it short you can make it wide you can make it a four by four you can make it a single icon so a lot of different options here for customizing your icon so this is going to be um, evident with any one of these so let's say for instance i wanted to extend the flashlight here and i drag down space it out you can see it automatically moves my other icons for new roles so that just makes the overall process easier pretty cool all right let me put it back there and now i'm all done so pretty straightforward i do like what they did they did a good job just grouping everything so now i have a lot of quick launches i got my home control right here my connections and just makes everything easier and more customizable let me know your thoughts in the comments where do you think this rank as far as your ios 18 upgrade so my second favorite thing is actually the home screen customization so so my second favorite thing is the customization of my home screen so apple's really um listen to what we've been asking for for years so one of the main things and let me go ahead and just do a long press one of the main things is that your icons are no longer required to be in a specific area so previously on apple all the icons have to be a grid so they'll be organized from top to bottom but now you can move them to wherever you want to on the screen so for instance if i want to move this over here all i gotta do is press i can move it there i can move this here just a lot more options just to space things out how you want it so um that's a good addition but that's not the best feature of customizing your home screen so in the top left you do have a done and you do have edit if you hit edit then you have a couple more options so add widget that option's been there but you do have options to customize so when you click on that you can see you have a light so currently it's in light you have a dark mode so everything will go dark and you have an automatic so whenever it goes to daytime or nighttime whatever time it's determined whether it's 8 p.m or 7 a.m it will automatically switch between light and dark you also have the option to make your icons bigger so if you click on that you can see now the icons no longer has the names on it just has the icon and it appears a little bit bigger so i actually like it but i still like the fact that this is all labeled out so i can easily read what the name of the application is so completely up to you let me know what you guys think on the large icons versus the small icons we also have some tinted views so for this one let me switch to the next page so currently i'm still on the large icon so if i click on that edit again customize we do have the tinted so if you click on tinted you can essentially make these icons whatever color you want to be so right now it's in purple but if i want it to be a orange or green tint i can go ahead and do so and it takes a second for it to actually switch over and then with the bottom slider you can turn up the intensity guys let me switch it to blue and we'll just count down see it automatically switch and now i can turn up the intensity of the blue which also takes a little bit longer red so the blue's finally updated <laughs> all right so maybe it just takes some playing with it for it to update see it finally updates and also to the top left you have the option between your 
background being a little bit darker or being a little bit lighter and you can see me toggle that on and off so completely up to you what your liking is um, let me go ahead and turn that back on to the right if you wanted to match your icons with your home screen you hit this button right here and now let's say I want it to be this purple I'll leave it there it automatically finds it then it matches my icons to the background which makes for a better look so let me know your thoughts in the comment section I the tint is cool on some pages like this one I can see it working but when it comes to this page um, just a lot of the the icons especially up top with that widget it just looks weird and I, I probably won't keep it just because the consistency isn't there so my next favorite addition to iOS 18 and this can be used in, in different ways let me know in the comment section how you plan on using this is to actually hide your applications behind your face id so let me show you how this works so let's say i wanted to hide this icon right here um, this is a roborot vacuum application if i do a long press you can see a whole new menu that pops up you can have the option for it to require face id so if you click on that you have two options here you can require face id which will leave it where it is and every time you open the application you will need to use face id so let me go ahead and demonstrate what that looks like all right, so it is going to do your face. And now when I go into the application, if I don't have the camera pointed, it will automatically ask for a password. Or when I finally get my face in front of it, it will automatically open up the application. Let's go back into it. All right, so we click on require face ID again. So now we have another option for it to hide the application and require face ID. So let me go ahead and click on that one. All right, it's going to tell you that it's going to show you that the app will no longer be visible on the iPhone, except in a few places, such as your settings, your face ID, your passcode will be required to reveal or open the application or use Siri with the app. Also, the app will be escorted to your home screen and in a folder hidden in the apps library. We'll go over that here in a little bit. No notifications, calls or alerts will come from this application. All right, let me hide the application and boom, the app is gone. So. It already told us that if, if this is an app that takes notifications, it will not show up in your iPhone. So whenever you're on the lock screen, your home screen, that application will not notify you. So where is the app located? So if you swipe all the way to the right, now if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have a hidden area right here. And cool thing about this is that just looking at the hidden area, you can't see what's actually in there. So of course, to open that, you click on it. It is going to require face ID. Let's do it again. And now it reveals the app that we just hid. So click on the app. And again, it's going to require face ID. So pretty cool. If we wanted to revert it, do a long press. We do don't require face ID. It will confirm with the face ID. And now with the application, it's right here. Now you can go ahead and add it back to your home screen, wherever you prefer. So let me put it back where it was. All right, so, so that's what I have. Those are my three favorite updates within iOS 18. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a couple more of these videos. I didn't want to go through the full list because there are literally dozens, maybe even hundreds of upgrades that were made. Didn't want to make this video too lengthy. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.